we'll be talking the, about why choose a career in robotics. It's uh, sponsored by Favored Online Webinar, and we are actually using the Grow Your Career in Tech series. So, the outlines: uh, What is robotics? Robotics as an aspect of AI. Career in robotics. Why choose a career in robotics? Getting started with robotics as uh, using the platform Arduino Raspberry Pi and Simu project. And the final thing we are going to do is uh, Q and A. So first thing is what is robotics? So robotics is just the science and technology of robots that deals with the designs and manufacture and also the application. So where you have we have the now robot here. This is a now robot. Uh, it has a sister, Zora Romeo, which is cleaning the whole of Japan. And uh, it's derived from the world robot, which means a machine built to carry out some complex tasks, especially when being programmed. And it can as well be so intelligent and sometimes can look like a human. Sometimes most of them are make with me made with metal, some are made with um, plastic and fiber material. Alright, so we have robotics as an aspect of AI. We have about seven aspects. So robotics is one of the aspects just like machine learning. And artificial intelligence is just a branch of computer science which deals with the behavior of human intelligence that's mimicking the human intelligence, the self-awareness, the knowledge, the conscience and the thoughts in computer programs. So the automatic system, the self-driving cars, obstacle avoidance, the uh, image recognition uh, project are some of the robotics features of um, the AI uh, aspect of AI as well. So we have careers in robotics. Robotics is a dynamic field involving the design, the functional use and maintenance of robots. So there are several applications of robotics in the area of uh, transportation. We have uh, surgery, weaponry, we also have for uh, safety, we have, we have for uh, goods uh, productions. In fact, there are several careers today in the field of robotics. We have the robotics engineer, a robotics technician, people that actually do more of the repairs and maintenance. We even have some other areas that are incorporated in robotics, like embedded system engineering field, and even in the hardware system integrations are also part of robotics. So why do we need to choose a career in robotics? According to the Bureau of Statistics by the United States, about 60% of electromechanical technicians and engineers are projected job growth. So we have a lot of opportunities from 2016 to 2026, and the future is changing, the technology is evolving day by day, so it means we need to tap into this resource, of, to this advanced technology. and. As we all know, we are currently in the fourth industrial revolution, so future of work is going to be competitive. Advancement in technology is bound to uh, happen and we need to connect to this uh, cutting edge technology. So we have um, Arduino. If we are to get started into robotics, the first thing that comes to our mind is Arduino uh, microcontroller. These are actually the open source microcontroller which are 8-bit microcontroller they have the USB port and they are actually programmed from the computer they don't have their current their, or their running operating systems they are basically used for prototyping um, project electronic project so they mostly use uh, the programming language we call embedded C more like C++ and C and you can also run Python with it if you incorporate the uh, add-ons to it then the next one we have the Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi basically was built to teach children or to teach people basically uh, programming and coding as well. So it's just like a credit card size uh, my microprocessor. It runs with Windows. It runs on Linux, not Windows rather. It runs on Linux, and it was actually made to to teach children and to promote computer literacy across the globe by offering affordable and mutable bit of hardware to the masses. So as you can see, it actually became a very huge uh, hit among the maker community because with Raspberry Pi you can make a lot of cutting edge uh, projects using computer vision, as in the Pi camera, you can even make um, you can make an IoT based device you can to turn on your appliances far away without your presence. And um, it's, it's in fact, you can do a whole lot of stuff with it because just like a computer. 
Yeah. So um, while taking a, a closer look, you find that the Raspberry Pi 3 boasts of some impressive spec for its size. As you can see, it has about four USB ports. It has about the Ethernet uh, port. It has the audio and HDMI. So all of those parts are very, 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 very useful, just like a normal computer. So we have a simple project here. So we have the weather monitor, we have the SMS based project, we have the IoT project. We can actually do this project using these simple uh, models, uh, uh, controllers and processors. We have microprocessors we talked about. We have the LED, pre LED project. Uh, we have the temperature and humidity sensing device. We have the RFID dialog, which I showed earlier. Then we have the fingerprint project. Then the obstacle avoidance project. So the questions and answer. Most of the time, people ask these questions. What is the difference between the Raspberry Pi and the Arduino? Well, the Raspberry Pi is a microprocessor, uh, but the Arduino is a microcontroller. The Raspberry Pi runs on ARM. Uh, which runs um, with the Linux operating system, while the Arduino is mainly programmed using the computer system. It's, it does, it's not a standalone, just like the Raspberry Pi. And the Arduino uses uh, Ad um, embedded C. So everything is just based on the capability, all right? The Arduino uses Atmel, mega cheaper. So, so it's a different ball game. So it's that just it. Um, and then. Um, what is uh, Arduino microprogramming language? Well, I as I said this earlier. It's actually called Embedded C. The that of Python is uh, Python is actually being used in uh, in the Raspberry Pi. So can I use uh, Python with Arduino? Yes, yes, sure. You can use Python, but you need to install some of the add-ins of uh, the package like um, Python Matter on Arduino E. But I think basically it's nice to use Embedded C because it runs straight. It actually communicates with the hardware, so it's, it's faster that way. Now, in Arduino, is Arduino hard to learn? Mm, well, yes, it's easy to program similar to C and C++. It's quite easy compared to maybe you learning advanced programming like Python using C, uh, using Raspberry Pi. So is Arduino a microprocessor? Is actually an AVR at Mega three two eight and also two five six zero microprocessor. So it has about eight bits and I think about sixty four mega by flash memory and. Um, and some other features like that. So why is uh, Arduino so popular? Well, it's popular because it's cheap, it's simple to implement and it's also very easily available so you can actually get it a lot of, you can get it uh, in uh, close to your uh, your your shack, your radio shack where you buy your electronic. So what are the common types of Arduino? We have the Nano which is the small, okay not the smallest actually, it's a small size micro controller we have the uno and we have the mega i think basically these are the three main uh or three popular adreno being used out there so this uh, uh walkthrough was actually brought to you by iot lab and i believe you enjoy this so i would like to say you can visit the website iotlab.blackspot.com and you can call this number if you have any question or you can even send an email so thank you for today and bye for